Good evening, guys. I I know I'm a little bit late for starting supper. It's been a long day. Don't ask. <laughs> so tonight I am going to be preparing an eggplant meatball, which uh, my kids have definitely approved of. Uh, I'm also doing a homemade spaghetti sauce. And I've got my spaghetti in the pot right now with some salted water. And I have a spaghetti squash in the oven for me and my husband. Right now, I'm just going to be, first off, rolling these around. What do you want, Sander? Go. Thank you. Woo! Facial. All right, so I've got my lovely roasted Parmesan, or not Parmesan, sorry, eggplant. And we are just going to put this in the food processor. I roasted it for about mm, 20 minutes or so, give or take, uh, in a 400 degree oven. And I used olive oil, salt and pepper. This is going to be vegetarian, guys, by the way. Vegetarian means that we are going to be using oils. Uh, and we are going to be using just a little bit of Parmesan cheese in the eggplant just because my kids are going to be eating this and they need to approve of this as well, by the way. So, like I said, I just took the eggplant, I cut it up, a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, roast it in the oven. I find that roasting it in the oven brings out the sweetness of the eggplant much better than uh, steaming it or, you know, microwaving it or anything like that. And uh, it ends up being a lot more flavorful. So, I'm going to turn the camera a little bit so you can see. Alright, we're just going to take this. And I love using parchment paper, by the way. It saves me dishes. We're just going to pop that in there. Make sure all of it gets in there. And we're going to be adding two cloves of garlic. I'm going to keep my tray right there because we're going to be making the meatballs. About half a cup of fresh parsley. Got some Italian seasoning. About a tablespoon. And some bread crumb, some bread crumbs. By the way, here's a trick for your bread crumbs. Save the ends of your bread, pop them in the freezer. When you need more breadcrumbs, put them in the oven, chopped up, and then blend them in a food processor or a blender. You're good to go. I'm going to give this a stir over here real quick. I've got some onions sweating over here. We're making a great marinara sauce, by the way. I'm going to be using some carrots and some mushrooms. Like I said, I am using cheese tonight. A little bit of Parmesan cheese. But only because the kids are eating this. <laughs> and I want them to actually eat it. A little bit of EVOO. And we're going to blend this up. breadcrumbs depending on how soft the eggplant is but this looks pretty good you kind of want a texture of like a meatloaf type of thing you want to be able to take this and form it into a nice little ball just like that see look how pretty those are going to be all right so we're going to take First of all, we're going to take the blade out. And then we're just going to take like little tablespoons of the filling and make these awesome little meatballs just like that. We're going to use the same parchment paper because I don't like wasting little meatballs. They're so cute. Now, if you want to, you're welcome to use vegan cheese. You're welcome to, I could not find vegan Parmesan cheese in the store the other day, so we're using just a regular Parmesan cheese tonight. Uh, but you are welcome to use 
a vegan Parmesan cheese. There is a way to make your own, too. Uh, obviously, cashews are once again going to be a great, a great addition to any kind of cheese. Sour cream as well, by the way. Cashews make a great sour cream. I have a huge intolerance to uh, any kind of yogurt or sour cream or anything like that. So I loved it whenever I found out that I could use cashews as a sour cream substitute. And these just pretty much stick very well together. Eggplant acts as a great egg, by the way. Very sticky. I'm going to give this a stir over here. You want those onions nice and sweating. By the way, I've got some shredded carrots here that I'm going to toss into our bolognese sauce, by the way. I've got about uh, three large carrots. And yes, they are carrots, by the way. I just found these beautiful rainbow carrots the other day at Costco, and I loved them. I couldn't say no to them. Gorgeous little meatballs here. By the way, I'm moving up in the world. I got me a new tripod to help me out with these. My other one was just not working out for some reason. This one seems a little bit better. All right, that is all of our meatballs. I'm gonna give my hands a quick wince. Here we go. And we're gonna pop these in the oven for another 10 to 15 minutes. I'm gonna take you with me over here. There we go. Oh goodness, facial, major facial again. The only bad thing about wearing glasses and opening up the oven is your glasses get nice and steamy. Alright, I'm going to show you what this looks like. Beautiful carrots. Got some onion in there. I'm going to add some garlic. This is some fresh chopped up garlic, and I've got the kids' pasta right here that looks about done. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. Now I'm going to bring it over here to drain. Note to self, you always want to salt the water whenever you're doing a pasta. Always flavor every step of the process. We're just going to cook down these carrots a little bit. I've got some mushrooms over here that I, my daughter helped me chop up, actually. Nothing fancy, just some regular button mushrooms. I'm going to stick those in there. This is a quick and easy 30 minute meal, vegetarian style. Again, I say vegetarian because we are using just a little bit of Parmesan cheese. And again, you're welcome. If you can find a vegan Parmesan cheese, then by all means. Let me know where you find it, too, by the way, because I checked at Aldi, I checked at Costco. I did not check Walmart, though, so I guess maybe I should check there. But I could not find vegan Parmesan cheese, and that's the one thing that you do want for this eggplant. Oh, thank you, Lolly. How are you? 
I'm going to give you a look-see at this before I add the tomato paste, by the way. Isn't that pretty? We got some beautiful rainbow carrots and some mushrooms in there. It's awesome. It's great. What are you doing, Avonlea? It smells like... We got a tablespoon or so of tomato paste. We're going to let that cook down. Tomato paste is going to thicken our awesome bolognese sauce. We're going to make it nice and tomatoey and thick. And right about here is where we're going to add a few things. All right? I've got some uh, red wine vinegar. You can use regular wine if you want to. I like using a little bit, I'd say about two or three tablespoons of red wine vinegar to kind of help bring everything together. It brings a little bit of that flavor out of the mushrooms and the carrots and everything. Kind of helps deglaze the pan a little bit as well, by the way. And we've also got some Worcestershire sauce, which kind of helps with uh, the mushrooms, it helps them become more of a meaty flavor. I love adding Worcestershire sauce to my mushrooms. And plus, a regular bolognese sauce does have either wine, red wine vinegar, and a good Worcestershire sauce. And that is looking absolutely beautiful. I'm going to give you one more look see before we add our marinara sauce. Look how pretty that is. Oh, it's so pretty. All right, last thing. I could not find fresh basil at one point in time. And so I found this in Walmart. And it's just kind of like a, a tube version of a basil. We're just going to give that a nice little stir. And of course, we're going to add some dried Italian seasoning. Real quick and easy. Again, I do have regular pasta for the kids, but for me and my husband, we're going to be eating uh, some wonderful spaghetti squash. And oh my gosh, this is smelling so good. All right, I love my Costco for more than two reasons. Because, ah, let's see if I can get this open. Ah, my hands are so slippery. <laughs> Hang on. There we go. All right. Their marinara sauce at Costco, by the way, when you look at the back of it, it literally says organic ground tomatoes, organic tomato puree, salt, sauteed onions, extra virgin olive oil, basil, garlic, sea salt, and organic spice. That's it. There's no additives to it whatsoever, which is awesome. bit easier. And I'm doing two cans of tomato sauce. By the way, little trick, when you're done, I don't throw these away. I actually keep my marinara sauce in them throughout the week. That way I can just add it to some quinoa, maybe add it on top of a potato if you want. Yes, you can add marinara sauce to potatoes, baked potatoes. Add some good looking broccoli on there and some peppers and everything. You got yourself an Italian and ripped fresh basil. Really, really good. This looks awesome, guys. And that is our quick and easy tomato sauce right there. We're going to let that cook down just a little bit. And I am going to actually take lovely little Woo! facial again. We got our butternut, not butternut squash, our spaghetti squash right here. Sounds so good. Oh my goodness. I am going to pop the lid on this because I don't want spaghetti sauce all over me. That would not be very good. All right. 
while it's still hot, I actually flip it over with two forks and I kind of just take it one to study and one to rip apart that beautiful spaghetti squash. Just like that. This has been in the oven for probably a good, and we use this as our bowl, by the way. Just leave it as is. Top your marinara sauce with it. Again, I have it lined with some parchment paper. I like doing, since it's for me and my husband, I like doing one side of the spaghetti squash a little bit bigger than the other side, so my husband gets a little bit more, because <laughs> I can't usually eat a whole one all by myself. The cool thing about being on this diet is you end up being getting fuller faster. And I absolutely love some good spaghetti squash. That looks amazing. Alright guys. I don't know if you can see that or not. But that is some beautiful spaghetti squash right there. Alright. That's about it. As soon as our um, eggplant uh, meatballs are done, we're going to throw everything together and we're going to have ourselves an awesome 30-minute Italian meal. I hope you enjoyed this. Please let me know in the comments or message me if you have any questions. Thank you guys so much.